Okay, and we're back again with the last hole. This is Sequoia out, first tee, ninth hole. This is a par four. Most people on this hole use a, if my stats ain't high enough, I got 1,280 stats, okay? Most people on this hole use hydroxidory fade. Yes, hydroxidory fade, this one right here. And what that does is cuts around that branch up there. You can see where it cuts over that branch. But this ain't far enough. This will land right in the sand or right out there on the edge. But, and most people land right on the green for eagle. Since it's not far enough and most of you guys ain't gonna be far enough. We're gonna have to stick with the skill shot, fade shot it's called. It's the second one in. Okay, we gotta look at the wind. We got a two mile per hour wind blowing towards us down. To the right so most people a lot of people even with a simple fade shot could, could could mark it like right around here and get right up on it green it's very 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 tough to get on a green with a simple fade shot like I like I said a high structure fade and you're you could get right up on the green it's a very, very tough shot though because you could hit a, a little branch that's sticking out and you could land all the way back here and be screwed in the sand and then you're just, you're screwed pretty much. You're coming out with a par over with a bogey. So I like to play a safe on this hole and just get a birdie. Like again, again I said, you use the fade shot. So what I do is I like to come out as far as I can. It's a two mile power wind, you gotta think about that. I like to land in the sand to the left right there. I don't like landing in the rough. Again, rough shots are a little bit more tricky. Sand shots are easier. So I'm gonna go shoot right here and land in that sand. I'm gonna go all the way up, line to line. You see that branch? Tricky branch. Perfectly where I wanted to land. And I'm just gonna do a regular, this is a regular bunker shot. You could use a perfect shot here again. It's a per prime example where you can use two perfect shots in one hole. So if you look at the bunker, it's breaking a little bit to the left and it's going one up. It's a 3.8 up already. So it's probably about 3.9 up. It's breaking to the right though. So you want to go to the left just a little bit like that. A 3.8 bunker plus that one up, 3.9. You're going to want to go over about a, a, just a quarter inch. That's about it. Just like this. And it was a little bit too hard. Bunker shots, you don't need to hit that hard. But it doesn't matter, we're in for a birdie. If you had a guide, you'd be perfectly in for a birdie. If you look at your ball eye, it's breaking to the left. So we're gonna, we are adjusting right here just for the adjustment of the ground. Going to the left, going to the left, where it's breaking to the left. And then you want to also adjust for the ball eye a little bit. I'll say about right there. And it's a point one up. So you want to just go a little bit over the line. And I missed it. I should have went a little harder. I would have had it. But again, if you have a, um, a guide, you definitely were in a hole. So this is breaking to the right a little bit. Go to the left a little bit. It's going, if you look at the ball eye, it's breaking to the right slightly, and it's going up one. So it's going to be a point two up, and we want to go a little bit over the line. And that's it. So pretty much, that sums it up for Sequoia out. You should be able to easily get a minus 12 to a minus 15 with the, with the stats of 1280 and below. Easily. I just was able to get a minus 15 on this guy yesterday for a record. On my main account where I have like 2200 stats, I was able, I'm able to get a minus 16. Anywhere from a minus 12 to a minus 16. But you're, you're, you're golden if you could get a minus 12 at all times in this hole. You got a good chance of winning. Thank you and have a great day.